Man, what is up with cults and their white robes? I mean, think about it. What do all cults have in common? Not all, all cults, but a lot of cults. The practitioners all wear matching white uniforms. I mean, what is up with the white robes and the cults? Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about today. Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here at the Extreme Fight Lab in Shanghai, China, and I got my Taekwondo Dobok on. First time I put it on in a very, very long time, over a decade. And I was thinking about Taekwondo. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the Taekwondo forms, the Pumse, were derived from the Shotokan karate forms. Yeah. And a lot of people plug their ears and they're like, la, 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 I didn't hear you say that. Or they get very angry and they disagree. And they're like, no, it's impossible. It's purely a Korean invention. Except that, no, the forms of Taekwondo are derived directly from Shotokan Karate. All those blocks, the middle block, the low block, the high block, the reverse punches, all that stuff comes from Shotokan. All of these movements, the Nukate, Japanese spear hand, strike, also appears in the Taekwondo forms. All this stuff comes from Shotokan. Now, there is a big difference in the way that Taekwondo sparring looks and the way the forms look. And there are lots of reasons for that. But one of the historical reasons is that the forms come from Shotokan. But the order of the forms is different. It's very different. The movements are the same. It's the same movements. You know, they have the, the middle block, right? They have the high block. They've got the low block. They've got the reverse punches. They've got the, the knife hands, the spear hands, the kicks, etc. But they're in a different order. Why? We'll look at the Korean flag. It's Korean nationalism. The South Korean flag, they got that blue and red yin-yang in the middle. And then they've got these four ten grams on the side, you know, the black stripey things, right? With the three rows. And you'll notice the first four pumse, the first four forms happen in three rows. Like the very first uh, form in Taekwondo, right? You start, you bow, and then you turn to the side and you do the first row. You do a low block. You do a punch, ah, man, it's been so long, I forget if it's a step and a punch or just punch from, we'll, we'll do a step. Taekwondo nerds on the internet, you, you can correct me. It's been so long since I've done any of the forms. And then you take a step back to the next line, right? And then, then you do the middle block thing. Then you take a step to the next line, you do the high block thing. And the first four forms are like that. They're in three lines. Why? Why? To replicate the 10 grams on the flag. Seriously, it's, it's South Korean nationalism because they wanted their national martial art to represent their national flag. And for no other reason. And so we have these forms of Shotokan, which are already confusing enough because people are like, okay, why am I doing this and then this? Am I like pummeling or blocking or grabbing or, or gouging the guy in the stomach and ripping his intestines out? I don't know, right? It's confusing enough. But then what Taekwondo does, it rearranges the order of those movements. And so we're like, did this come first, or this come first, or this come first, or this? Or, I don't know, right? And so you have to, you got to do some historical research on Shotokan before you can understand the true meaning of the forms of Taekwondo because they rearrange them because of the flag, <laughs> for crying out loud. It sounds so dumb when you say it out loud, and it is. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.